The triumphant return of the Belize protectors to much acclaim from civilian admirers and supporters from various branches of local law enforcement culminated with a celebration of the team's achievement in the United States. Its debut in the annual Challenge Cup, Baker to Vegas Relay, was, in one word, stellar. Team Belize, after just a few months of preparation, has made an impression on organizers and seasoned participants of the event. The experience was awesome. It was nothing that we expected, you know, from what people say it would be hot days and cold nights. The I ran um, leg six, which was in the daytime. I started about minutes to four, and it was six miles. To me, the weather wasn't that hot for me. The only thing was the dry air. I felt like I couldn't breathe, but apart from that, um, it was nothing. Child's play, to say the least. For coach Ian Gray, the team's success is the result of hard work and rigorous training. Uh, they performed well from day one. They worked hard. We all had a positive attitude from the start. We all pushed hard. We finished uh, sixth overall, first in the category, and with the 15th fastest time in the history of the event. Not bad for a group of dedicated athletes that invested time and effort, sacrificing everything to put the jewel on the map. Leading that charge from the start of the two-day competition was Ernesto Villafranco. As the first one, a little pressure was on me because I need to get it the first lead at the race. And we started with 40 runners. And when the gun went off, I ran and I didn't look back. And when the last man was out and I looked back, nobody was in sight. But Every, every, every two to three minutes we had to drink water because it was very hot and I just got one thing in my mind to get the lead so my team can do well and I, I'm proud of my team because when I get that lead they continue to open the lead, they didn't close the lead so. While Via Franco was the first to hit the ground running, his teammate, Coast Guard Seaman Rondre Lewis was the finisher. His sole duty along the 120 mile course was to bring the protectors home. They had me in the last leg, stage 20, and my task was to finish, the finisher. They call me the assassinator, you know. When stage 19 passed the baton to me, like, I already know it's short time, so I went out hard. I left everything on the road, all. I gave my all. I chopped down a couple vehicles, couple people, everybody. I went to, straight to the finish, and... When I arrived inside the, the stadium, like, everybody was surprised because we already came in because Team Belize, our number was 259, and we already reached inside the stadium before people are participating a couple of years now. So everyone was excited for Belize and wondering what we, what we did, how we did it. They even asked what we're eating, what they're giving us, and all those type of things. Strict diet and absolutely no performance enhancers. Our men and women of the armed forces ran a clean race, and despite not placing first overall, accomplished a remarkable feat. And with the results that we achieved, I must say I'm very proud of the runners, uh, proud of the committee that was formed, and proud of the achievements that they got. This was a very challenging race. Uh, we weren't sure of exactly everything that we were going to face. Uh, we were aware that the desert was hot. Uh, we were aware that it was very cold in the night. But it was new for these guys because it is not something that they were trained for. And they just had to go into it. Um, they had training for about three or four months before we went in there. But unless you have prior experience, you will do your ultimate best. Um, but not knowing what we were going into, and achieving what we did, I must say it was an ex outstanding result for these guys. I am very proud of the security forces of Belize, the BDF, the Coast Guard and the police working together as a unit. And it proves that if you, if you are united in your efforts, you can achieve great results. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Caetano.